Many, many months ago, I flew down to Arizona and headed out to the desert in search of agates, and I found a ton of them. This is one of 10 bags, and today, we're gonna cut open everything in this bag and a few more that I have in a bin, so let's head out and get to cutting. So we got through our first five very, very quickly. I have not snuck any peeks at any of them. They didn't come apart or anything. So I am very excited to see these for the first time with you because it has been a long time. I've had a lot of people ask, have you cut those yet? So I'm very happy to be able to get to cutting these. And we have, like I said, this whole bag of Arizona agates and this bin I'm hoping we can get to a majority of them, but a couple of them that I know I will for sure be cutting is this monster shows some good promise right there. And then these two, but this one looks really cool. So we'll for sure do as many as we possibly can. Uh, that last one that we cut fractured as I started cutting it. And when I stopped or got to the end, so, oh, it's a geode. I didn't expect that. That's so cool. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of calcite in there as well. Good golly, that is sweet. My dog makes an appearance once again. If you have a golden retriever, you know the life. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. This is the one we cut first. Let's check this guy out. Hopefully it's got some good stuff in there. Oh, that is so pretty. Man, the bands on that. That is sweet. That's going in the keeper pile. Uh, this one, man, I... Wasn't very hopeful with this one, but oh, it's very milky. It's pretty. It's kind of pretty. Oh, that is so clean in there. Just these little things shooting up in here. Gosh, two little tubes shooting up in there. In the keeper bin and this last one. I'm, I have high hopes for this one as well. It's very, very white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that right there. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, that is pretty. So unique. Oh, wow. I love that. I really, really love that. That's <laughs> sweet. All right. So before I pick out a whole bunch more to cut, I got to ask you guys a huge favor. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe or follow button and join along on more cutting, polishing, and rock counting adventures. We have so many new things coming up in the future that I have never cut before and have a lot of new spots we're going to be going rock counting at. You guys don't want to miss it. Let's just go with these four for the next cuts. I've been waiting to cut this one for a very long time, so I'm very excited about that. Oh my gosh, oh, it's so white. Holy moly, those bands. Oh, if that doesn't make you happy, there's something wrong with you. That's amazing. Oh my, oh, so fun, so fun. Love that. Um, the next one I don't think is gonna be, oh, Oops, well, it slipped out on me. I saw it before. That is, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. There are bands in there. And I will be polishing this one. Oh my gosh. So the ones that I'm calling keepers are the ones that I'm gonna be polishing. I didn't think that was gonna be that good because it cuts super quick. And that was a big surprise. I, I just thought it was gonna be kind of like this mossy stuff, but that's awesome. So this guy right here is one that when I found it, I was also like, yep, I really want to see what's inside this really funky nodule. We have so many unique nodules and I was torn on which way to cut this. Do I cut it like this or do I cut it like that? And I thought, man, that is going to be just, it just didn't feel right. So I trusted my gut and I went this way. Let's see if it paid off. Oh my gosh. I 
have to look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is one of the greatest agates I've ever cut open. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. There's hardly any fractures in there. And right in here as well. You can see it a little bit. It's got parallax or shadow banding, which is really good. Holy moly. Premium Arizona agate. I bet you didn't think they'd be this good. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm, I'm glad we got to share that together. That was awesome. This big guy. This was actually kind of a quick cut. So again, I don't know about this one. Yeah, that's why it was a quick cut. It was very quick. It's really, really pretty. But... Like I said, I'm a band man. That is sick though. That one I think might be worth trying to polish. Maybe. So now I have a bunch of nodules. These are in the smaller size that we are gonna be cutting through. I'm gonna whip through all of these and we'll show you as we cut them. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This one also, look at, oh my gosh. Right in here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna polish that. That is really, really premium. Really premium. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh boy, that is sweet. Oh, it's another one of those kind of mossy ones. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty, but not like some of those other ones. <laughs> oh, it's a little, uh, almost a geode. Almost a geode, I guess. Eh, kind of. <laughs> that was a quick one. Oh, that is sweet. It's little, but so sweet. That'll be a f that will probably take five minutes to polish. <laughs> Almost like a pink husk to a pink nodule. Oh, that is so pretty with that quartz in there. Not as many bands, but that quartz, it looks like just like feathered ice. So cool. I was like, okay, let's just whip through these last four here. They're so small. Oh, it's got some cute little bands. Cute little bands. That is sweet. Another one. Kind of an awkward one to hold, but we can polish it. It'll be fun. This little one. This one whipped through so quick. Oh, it's a geode agate. That's why. That is so pretty. I love geode agates. They're awesome. It's got some extra growth in there. Whatever that is. Interesting. This one, I snuck a peek. I think it's just quartz. Just quartz, little quartz nodule. That one touched the saw, cut through and fractured all at the same time. It was so quick. Oh, that is sweet. They're so white and they're so tight that you can almost not even see the bands. Like I can see them in like real life. I don't know why that it's different, but that is uh, that is pretty cool. That's sweet. So these are the next five that are up on the chopping block, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different because we have so many to get through. I'm gonna cut these and then I'm gonna show you, but what I'm actually gonna do is hop on TikTok and go live and cut all these. So if you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, head over to TikTok and follow our account. I'll have it linked in the description box below. So we'll see you now.
<laughs> so just got done going live went live for 20 minutes on tiktok went a little crazy cut more than the five and uh <laughs> it was nuts i think we had a total of 4,000 people uh over the duration of that join i think the most i saw in there at one point was like 800 which is totally crazy because that was the first time i've gone live in like two years so i'm gonna try to do more stuff like that on tiktok because why not this is fun and it's fun doing it live and uh yeah so some of the stuff that we cut open ended up being really really beautiful like this guy right here that was awesome that's going in the for sure bin um this one was pretty sweet it's got some cords got some bands going in the polishing bin uh this one i really like this one really really cool this will be one like as you polish it it's not going to be a perfect mirror polish but it, it'll have those natural characteristics but these bands are here so sweet that one was really clear. It'll be pretty polished up. But this guy, this was really fun because I actually cut this open on the live. And this was the best one. <laughs> Those pure white bands are so sweet. Oh, it's so pretty. Got that parallax banding kind of going on in there as well. Oh, it's so sweet. So what I'm going to do now, these are the next nodules that I'm going to cut. And these, I'm going to say, I guarantee they're going to be good because they're not crazy funky. So we'll cut these three and then we'll show you after. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man, my hands are getting cold. It's getting colder up here in Minnesota and I haven't cranked the heater on yet. <laughs> So this cold water is making my hands get kind of stiff, but oh yes oh, That is awesome. It's a little geodegate as well. That is so great Such amazing bands yet. Yeah, you can see it right along here. We got some parallax banding as well. That is so awesome So pretty man. This is one of the top ones. We had some really really good ones um, this one, I didn't know, oh, kind of, didn't see if there was bands, but it looks kind of white in there, but I didn't know how to cut this one. I was like, do you go this way or right through? I'm like, let's just do a funky kind of cross, cross cut. I don't know. Oh, that is really cool. What's so funny. We got quartz on this side and no quartz over here. Just totally split it. That's going to be another good one to polish. That's great. And oh, this one kind of slid on me. This is how I saw it. It's got some bands. It's got some bands in there. Oh my. <laughs> we split the quartz again. That is so crazy. Man, those bands are so phenomenal. Oh, that is pretty. That is ridiculous. So crazy. Really, really pretty. Man, I love these eggs. This is so fun. So to be safe, because my fingers are uh, <laughs> they're kind of pink, huh? They're getting a little stiff. We're going to do two more cuts. We're going to do this guy right here. I've wanted to cut this one for a very, very long time. I can see it has fractures all over it. I'm anticipating this breaking out on me. But the last cut we're going to do is this big guy. It's going to be kind of an awkward cut. And... <sighs> Do you cut it right here or do you cut it through here? I'd like to cut it through here and get a big surface area, but I just don't know. That's what I've wanted to do for a long time. We got a window on this end, a window on this end. Let's trust the gut. We'll cut it right through the center. We'll do that one last. We'll show you as soon as we cut this one though. so pretty oh man so many fractures in there what a stinker that would have been awesome not even worth polishing if i'm being honest we'd have to grind well we could grind away a lot grind away a lot of the the fractures and stuff here but oh gosh it'd be so much work okay all righty hold on for another few minutes and um, we'll see what's in this big potential agate. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no, we got a crack. Folks. If you've been watching, you know the trend is I saved the best for last, and I was hoping to do that with this one. I don't think this is gonna be the best for last. It cuts so quick. Oh, that little window is like literally at the end, at each end. What a stinker. I mean, look in here. I mean, that's, I believe that's calcite. That's really pretty, but you know, we want those bands. Can't always have the best for last, right? <laughs> but I am freezing cold, let's head inside. So I am all warmed up and I've actually been warmed up for a few days because it's been a few days since that cutting session and I wanted to take the time to hit the cab king and polish up a bunch of those banded beauties and I have them right here. We've polished a ton of them and I've got them polished up and ready for our Etsy store. So as of this video being posted, a lot of those banded beauties are up there, first come first serve, but I wanted to show you some of these. They're so pretty and a lot of them have that extremely, extremely rare and beautiful parallax banding where when you, you kind of roll the stone, it looks like it's moving. It's so pretty. So. Let me show you. So here's our bin of polished Arizona agates and the bin of to be polished Arizona agates. I think we probably have more <laughs> to polish than we have polished, but you know, it's not bad. Not a bad little turnout for a couple days polishing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, 16, 17. Got 17 of them polished up. And the other half of this guy, which is my absolute favorite from this batch, um, it's not quite done yet. I've had a few little scratches. I just haven't been able to get out. So I got to make it perfect before I post it. So making them, making them look nice and pretty. Uh, some of my second favorite ones are these guys right here. Absolutely insane. And I'll try to roll it without the light flashing on there to see if you can get that parallax banding. It's like kind of in here, but these are, these are super pretty. Um, the one that has the best parallax banding is this little guy, right? You can see it right there. Look at that. As is without that, this is a beautiful piece, but with that, and it's like the whole thing with that parallax banding, it turns it into just an absolute, <laughs> it's just so crazy. I can't get over it. It turns it into an absolute premium, premium piece. And, uh, oh, just, I love it. So those ones are fun. We got these guys all polished up. A lot of quartz in there, but it's got some of those sweet white and almost, I wouldn't say blue, but like kind of like a grayish blue uh, hue to them. These ones right here, these are really great. <laughs> Gotta get it the right orientation, you know what I mean? <laughs> Those are super pretty. And these like absolutely pure white ones that we cut. It's even gonna pick it up. I think all of these in one way, shape or form, for the most part, not all of them, but they pretty much all have that parallax or shadow banding. So crazy. I love this one too. This is one of my favorites as well. It's a little geode agate. Little geode pockets in there. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. These guys right here, those are awesome. Turned out great. I had such a fun time with this polishing session, with the cutting session, everything. Cause gosh, they're all so different and just getting to see that parallax banding in these, it was an absolute blast. And I know I didn't show it, but I polished all those on my eight inch Cap King with those premium res wheels. The link to my unit and the res wheels going to be linked in the description box below with discount codes. And the same goes for the saw that I use in this video. 10 inch high tech diamond with the thin center blade. All that is going to be linked below. I had so much fun finally peeling that bandaid and getting to see inside all of those beautiful Arizona agates. It makes me get to relive that trip that I had down there having fun because I actually went out with somebody, went out with Troy. We had so much fun chatting and finding agates all day. It was such a blast. So. It was fun getting to relive that, and I hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed this cutting session. If you did, leave a thumbs up, 
thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button for more cutting, rock hunting, and polishing content. I love bringing you all with. You all mean the world to me. Thank you so much.